Hello everyone, Rayo Daniel here. And in this video, what I want to do is show you how you can make thousands of dollars in monthly reoccurring revenue, helping out landscaping companies run their businesses more efficiently and more effective by focusing on a few of the problems that mostly all landscaping companies have and mostly a lot of businesses. But in this particular video, I am going to be focusing on the landscaping business. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you a new tool that you can use to do this with called Go High Level. And inside of Go High Level, I'm going to give you like a whole bunch of tools that you can just simply download, put into your account and just start helping out landscaping companies right away. I've built everything out for you already. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I built out and how you can use them to help you out. So let's get started. Okay. So here we are inside of the Go High Level platform. Now, first of all, if you're not familiar with the Go High Level platform, uh, it is an all-in-one business sales and marketing tools and platform that you can use to basically run and help small businesses um, run their businesses more efficiently. Now, we're going to be talking about landscaping companies. Now, I do want to make sure that we make this point very clear. The Go High Level platform is not built to be an all-in-one solution for landscaping companies. And here's the reason why. Because landscaping companies have a very unique type of business. So if you can imagine, let's just talk at the very basic about landscaping companies. They cut grass. That's one of the very basic functions that landscaping companies do. They can Sometimes they can do a lot of other services, but at most, they cut your grass, they blow your grass, trim it, and make sure that your lawn looks good, and then you pay them a couple times a month to come out and cut your grass. Now, in doing so, they need specialized software. You can imagine, let's just say you get 50 clients, 100 clients, 500 clients, uh, 500 different houses across an entire metropolitan area. You can understand how this would just be a nightmare to try to figure out where these houses are and then the best way to approach the sort of best route to take to get all of these people done. This is one of the things that other software specifically built for landscaping companies do quite well. And I'm taking the time to introduce this to you because if you're going to be servicing landscaping companies, you should at least know this and at least know what software they have, what some of these software capabilities are, what it does and what they don't do more specifically, because the software that they're using, these are the things they don't do that high level really does well, or the go high level platform. This is where the go high level platform can fill in those slots and really help out these small businesses, fill in the things that their other software doesn't do. So let's just quickly take a look here. Uh, these are a few of them that I found that uh, software called Jobber. And if you come here, you can go and look um, there in certain industries, you can go to landscaping. Here's some of the landscaping costs. So you can see they're not like really expensive, but they are per like per user cost. So this is 72 bucks a month per user. Now, depending upon how you do this, this could be quite expensive. This could run up into a couple of hundred dollars a month, but here's some of the things that these software uh, really does. They do estimate requests very well. They do, more specifically, they do things like routing specifically. So as you put more and more clients in this particular software, the software can help route the best way for, if you have a crew of guys going out and cutting grass today, you've got the best route they can take to get as many yards as they possibly can in that particular day without having to go through and manually do it. So it makes your time much more efficient that way. And there's some other ones here. This one looks like they service multiple different areas. So they may not be as specific to landscaping companies. And I really don't have any experience with this. I just queried it because I do know that landscaping companies do use one of these types of softwares and they might use another software that I haven't listed, but you get the point. They're using some other software on the back end to do estimate requests, to service them, to, to generate the forms for those estimates, to do the routing, to do the billing, to do the invoicing. So these are the features that you don't need the Go High Level platform to do. That's one of the benefits. If you're going to be doing this, you don't need to build a system out that does all of these things because the software they already have, they're going to continue to use that software to do their billing and things like that because it already connects to, to QuickBooks. It already has the invoices, already has the billing and the, the payment processors and all that stuff already built in. Now, I'm going to look at a few more here, and then I'm going to go over just some of the things that the softwares don't do very well which is where the Go High Level platform comes in. And this is where you can really shine in helping these businesses by selling these services in the Go High Level platform to these businesses to help fill in the gaps that they're missing. But here's another one, it's called Yardbook. Uh, this one does have a lot of cool features. If you come over here, I think if we look at the features area down here, this is some of the things, job scheduling, routing, timesheets. So you can see if you have multiple employees, you know, when they check in, check out. So it has that kind of feature in it. And this is the thing that the Go High Level platform just does not do. It does not do timesheets. It doesn't do routing. It doesn't do any of that other type of stuff. That's very specific to the landscaping industry. So, and the last one I had on the list is uh, House Call Pro. Again, this looks like uh, it services multiple different areas, but they do have a uh, landscaping and lawn area. And here you can start your free trial and it does have, I, I don't know some of the capabilities, but ultimately what I wanted to do is just introduce you to the fact that you do have other software that is going to be used by the landscaping companies too. And I hate when, they, when these things do that. So I'm going to close that. But so they have a built-in software already. So now that they've done that, let's go through and I'm just going to briefly explain some of the things that the Go High Level platform does that these other softwares don't do. And that is the marketing, the lead uh, processing, and the automation piece for these. So 
If you have a landscaping company, most, and these are true with any particular business, landscaping companies are busy. Sometimes they can afford to hire somebody to answer the phones all day. A lot of times they don't. They just don't answer the phones because it's not beneficial for them to do. Ultimately, the, the questions that these people have can be answered using a set of frequently asked questions or with regards to the Go High Level platform, you can actually use the AI feature built into the, the Go High Level platform to help answer some of these questions for you. And this is one of the things that we're going to sit back and take a look at of, of how that um, how that actually works. Some of the other things that they are missing is the ability, again, to not answer the phone. So the, the Go High Level platform has a great feature called Miss Call Text Back. And I'm going to show you that. But this is where if somebody tries to call the business line and they don't answer, then they can open up a text conversation. And then once they open up that text conversation, you can, I'm going to show you how we can send them a request to the, to the estimate request page automatically. But if they do have any additional questions that the AI bot can potentially be programmed to answer all of their questions and then send them to the request page, because ultimately that's what we're looking for. I've got a, a funnel page all built out that I'm going to show you. This is something again, that can uh, help out landscaping companies. If they don't have a website, if they don't have something like that, you can give them this and I'm giving it to you uh, in this video. Actually, the link is in the description below. You can uh, click on that and download it. But with regards to just um, the, the website itself, you can give them that if they already have one, then you can add additional add-ons to that particular website. That's going to benefit them a little bit more right now, the lead processing and collection, and then the follow-up on that's where some of these other softwares really don't shine because even though they're focusing on the landscaping business and some of these other features, they don't focus on the marketing piece, which is where, again, that that's not their, their niche, their niches help you run the landscaping business. Once you already have a customer, not how do you get more and more customers? So again, some of the other things that we've already talked about, being able to miss phone calls, being able to have a website, being able to process leads from the website. That's another a feature that the high level platform has called the website chat widget. And we're going to take a look at what that looks like as well. Now, some of the other things you can do is review management. So the fourth thing, a lot of, of these other companies don't handle reviews very well. So how do you get reviews from your customers and get more and more Google reviews on your Google business listing? That's going to help you get in turn more customers because the more Google reviews you have, the higher your ranking inside of Google and the more social proof or trust you have from other people that you do a great job. So how do you do all this? How do you, number one, send out the request? And then number two, how do you actually get that uh, respond automatically to that request? Again, we're going to talk about that as well. So these are some of the things that you can build out and help with these small businesses with uh, being able to fill in the gaps from their digital marketing position so that the, the Go High Level platform can be the front end lead communication tool that can help save them time, energy, and effort because they don't have to, again, answer the phone calls. They're not losing business because they're not responding to people who do call. That's another big problem is that you're losing business for every customer that calls you that you don't answer. So how do you stop that? How do you capture that customer, answer their questions, send them over to the request, and then from the request, how can you then use the backend software that we looked at to generate that estimate request, send it to them, and then follow up with them to see if they want to get that and add them as a new client into your system. So perfect. So right now, one of the things that those are a whole bunch of other features, but one of the main features I want to sit back and at least address is great. So you've got the go high level platform that's going to be used for digital marketing. You've got, you know, they've got this other software, which we'll go ahead and just close some of these tabs and uh, so forth. But how do you find these companies right now? This is where we just simply use the Google system. We find these companies using the Google, my business listings. So you're going to come to Google and you're going to type in landscaping companies. Now you can type in landscaping companies, which will probably pull up a local list of landscapers in your area. You could do landscaping companies near a certain type of city. So you can do like near Santa Fe, New Mexico, near Boise, Idaho, near Santa Monica, California. So you could prospect and find companies anywhere throughout the United States using the Google business platform and being able to find these particular people. Now, one of the things I would try to focus on here is if you are focusing on um, certain cities, go through and search. If you search for the top 10 most populated cities in that state, you know, that's where you can actually find, you really want to find out the, the cities that are really heavily populated. Because these are going to be the companies that will probably have a lot of uh, companies for you to choose from and avoid the smaller towns and smaller companies because these people probably wouldn't pay for your services if they're in a small town because they may only be one or two people in that whole town that actually has that service, if that makes sense. So here, once we search for them, we're going to come down to this business area. We're going to click on more businesses. Now, when these things load here, we do have a couple of these leads that are up top here, these sponsored Google guaranteed. These are ads or basically local service ads that these companies are placing that helps rank them and gets them to the top of the list so that hopefully people will choose their business first since it's at the top of the list. That just makes sense, right? You're going to start from the top down. But right now, from, from your perspective, there's several things that you can actually look for. Keep in mind, some of the initial services we talked about is being able to do answer the phones, the missed call text back, being able to do review management, being able to give them a website, give them a website chat widget. Now, let me stop right here and just show you this because this right here is something that to at least show you what this looks like here. This is an example of the website template that I'm going to be giving you. I've already made it out to a fake company 
called Serenity Scape Landscaping. Now here in the bottom right corner, let me, let me move over a little bit here. So I was blocking this, but this right here is what they call a website chat widget. So this right here is the, the widget I was telling you about that you can actually have inside. You can sell this. This is a service that we're going to talk about here, but how can you sell this particular service uh, to these small businesses that helps uh, bring more customers into the website? So this right here is what it looks like here. And I know I told you about it, but I just wanted to, I keep mentioning it. And I at least wanted to show you what it looks like here, because as we look at some of the websites, you're going to see that this uh, website chat, which it doesn't exist on a lot of companies' websites. So here we're going to sit back and just take a look. Notice that we've got uh, this legacy land pros. They've been in business for three years. They have 101. Let me move back over here. Give me a second. So we have this. Now, if we come over here and click on this, we can look at their website and just be able to take a look and just see, is their website decent? This one is not so bad. Now, first of all, I'm building this uh, video in conjunction with other videos that I've put on my website. So right now I have a whole other video that I've said how to sell websites to companies. So if you want, if you're interested in, in that kind of particular process, I really go in depth about how to analyze what to look for in a website and stuff like this. But ultimately this website is not the best designed that I've seen. There's no call to action here. There's no get estimate request or anything like that. Notice here, there's a request estimate right here. And then there's a big call us button. So there's two call to actions right above the fold here that people can click on right away. But this one right here, again, doesn't have any call to actions. They go a service area, so they've got some nice videos. They have things like this, but no contact forms, things like that. So this company could probably benefit from being able to have an updated website that's a little bit more intuitive of how people can get access and get a request from these companies without having to call them on the phone and get somebody to finally answer them to get an estimate request. We're going to show you how you could automate that here inside of this package that I'm going to give you that you can download here from this particular video. So here we take a look here. They've got 101 reviews, 5.0. So that's very good, at least from that particular perspective. You can always help them get more. Their website can be improved, but this is one of the uh, companies that you could definitely look at. Diamond Cut, here we've got 18. They've been in business for 10 years. That's not too good. So they definitely need some help on getting some better Google reviews. Something tells me the website may not be uh, that great if the reviews are like that. But hey, looks like they've got a nice call us up in here. Uh, that's not very good. Uh, you don't want to have that. Notice up in here that this phone number is not clickable. On here, that's pretty bad because if you're on a mobile device, which 80% of all people looking for businesses are going to be on a mobile, they don't have the ability to click uh, on their phone and tap it to call them directly. So that's bad. So here we just take a look and just notice that this is it. It's just one page. So this company can definitely benefit from a website like this that we're going to take a look at here. It's very nice, very clean, has all the services, money back guarantees, has an FAQ area, customer testimonial area where you can have all your reviews that pulled in directly from Google. So again, you can offer this directly as a free bonus to your clients when they sign up. There's a contact us page that they, they, you can submit and contact them about the, this. And the estimate page looks very similar, but you see how this page just looks so much easier and cleaner than something like this, that even though the picture looks good, it's just not very functional. How do people get information? There's no website chat widget. The only way to get a hold of this company is to call them. And again, most landscaping companies, they will get back to you, but on their time frame, that may not be the best there. So here, if we take a look again, we're finding all these companies. And if you want to, the best way to look for them sometimes is from the top, is from the bottom up. Because these people who are at the very bottom are the, the ones that Google doesn't uh, rank very high. So some of these people down here have some kind of problems with their particular area. This doesn't look to be too bad. But most of these people have websites, but notice you've got a button right here for websites. And this is where you can find and see, okay, so here's one right here, this Rock Hill Landscaping. They don't have a website at least listed. So this right here is one of those ones where you can simply offer them a free website from this package I'm going to send to you. You can offer them this website right here. And from that, then we're going to talk about how you can charge and things like that. So here you've got just this particular company. You can just simply reach out, give them a call and start talking to them about these particular services that you can help them with their particular business, fill in some of those holes that they're currently missing. Right now, there's no website, which means there's no online estimate request that people can fill out. The only way people can talk to this company is to give them a call. And then from there, they have to sit back and wait. And who knows if the phone call is even going to be responded to because Statistically, here's something that's rather disturbing. 60%, this is an actual Google statistic, 60% of all calls made to a company or messages that are left go unreturned or unanswered. That's crazy, 60%. So these, this is how you can really shine with the missed call text back feature that we're gonna be talking about here in this particular video, as well as uh, having a website with a website chat widget and the ability to sit back and respond to those missed calls and from the website. Basically, you're gonna be able to communicate with your customers in real time to sit back and get them their questions answered, get their submit their uh, estimates, and then communicate with them automatically via some of the automations. Again, that I'm going to show you once we go through the process here. So here's just some of the, the ways that you can prospect. Again, find people. So there's an endless number of people that you can sit back and communicate with from this. Just simply uh, find a particular company, look at their website, 
If their website isn't good, again, there's another video that's on my website channel regarding how to make money selling websites. That goes in a little bit more depth if you're interested um, in getting a little bit more. I just want to focus really on how to find people and then move into some of the automation and some of the things that we're going to be dealing with here and, and deal with specifically with landscaping companies. So here's again how you would prospect, but let's hop into the actual, I'm going to call it a snapshot. That's what we call it when we package all these things together and give it to you so you can just click on it and download it. Now, one of the things I do want to sit back and uh, discuss here is reputation management. So this is when we talk about Google reviews. These are one of the other services that I said that you can sit back and potentially sell people. I'm not going to be covering the reputation management specifically in this video. I've created a whole other video and a whole other snapshot that you can download regarding reputation management. I'd suggest go watching that video and the training because it goes over you know, how to sit back and prospect and sell the reputation management system. And I'm giving you a whole other snapshot that if you do want to sell that to a customer, all you have to do is click download and install that into their account. And then you get all of the benefits from the reputation management, sending out Google reviews, automatically replying with Google reviews with AI, and how you can add that package into your total package of from landscaping companies to be able to sell them these services. Okay, so in this particular snapshot that we're going to be dealing with now, this is what we've got mainly in this particular package here. We've got a couple of different things built in here. Some of this is stuff that I've created that, that's going to be better for you to use than the stuff necessarily that might come from some of the basic go high level templates. Some of these are the go high level templates that you can use in other areas. But the main thing I want to be able to show you here is this landscaping funnel number one. This is your main funnel here. And right now we'll just take a look at this. So notice this is your template. This right here is a basic placement for logo. And I'm going to show you where you can change all of these things at here. It's got a call button, request button. So here's the basic website that you would offer them. And again, the website just needs to give them the basic information that they're looking for. Now, I don't have the website chat widget turned on for this one here. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. But it does have the website template and it has the FAQ area. Now, the FAQ area, I will go over. This is where you can use the FAQ area to program the AI system to learn about your business. And we also have a whole other landscaping frequently asked questions here. If you, I took some time, that's like 13 pages of questions and answers that can help out with the AI bot. This file is inside of the training where you're going to find the snapshot that you can download. So you can download this as well. And if you'd like, you can add this uh, to your template. If you want to, that's completely up to you. But it does have a frequently asked questions area. You have a customer testimonial area. Now this right here is where you would actually put like Google reviews. So any of the reviews that your clients have would automatically come in here once you connect their Google business profile inside of the high level platform. So there's like a little a piece in settings that you would uh, use for integration to, to connect those two together. And then here you would just have a simple contact form. And then here you would have just hours, any of the street and contact information here would go need to be updated at the bottom and you'd have logo and all your social media contact buttons. So this right here is the basic uh, website form that we have. Now, if we come over here to say request estimate, this right here is really going to be the main area that we're going to be discussing here, because this right here, think about from the landscaping business here, they are busy. They're out going all the time. They're filling estimate requests. They're going out to get new business. They're working. They, they need to spend all of their time, as much of the time, working to make revenue in their business and not so much dealing with, you know, following up with people and trying to talk to people on the phone to basically get this information. Because when they do an estimate request, they're going to have to use their software that we looked at earlier. They need this basic information right here to, to basically fill out, like if they are going to be a customer, to enter this information into their, their back-end system. But they're going to need to know what services need to be requested right here. This right here, I'm going to show you where this is as well. Services requested. These are just some of the services that we have on this company. Oh, sorry, I closed it already. Sorry about that. But these are the services that are on your main business page. Now, your company or your client may not offer all of these, which is perfectly fine, but they do offer some of these. So right now, you just want to be, be able to make sure that which one is it, which service do they want to have access to. And then, of course, they need to consent because you will be sending them text messages and emails. So we want to make sure we get their consent on that one. Okay. But this form right here is the basic form that you're going to use to get all their contact information, what are they interested in. And then from there, you're going to be able to sit back and use your backend software to find out the area where it is. And most of the landscape of companies, they can look at like the, the postal code uh, right here, like the zip code that you live in. And they understand the houses in that particular area. If it's a small house, big house or small yard or, or big yard. So they probably already have customers in there that they already know how big those yards are and how much they're going to want to charge you for it. It should be pretty easy for them to get back to it. And all the things that we have here, we, we're set up to just get to reply to them within one business day. So make sure you update this if your client needs more time, but everything is just like, hey, we'll get back to you within one business day. So again, if they submit this on a Sunday, then we'll get back to them before the end of day on Monday, because that's the next business day. So right now, the estimate request form right here is where we're trying to focus and give everybody direct everybody to this particular form so they can fill it out. And then that way the landscaping company can simply take some time, look at all the new estimate requests. We're going to show you how uh, we get that information to them, notify them so that then they can get back and notify the person regarding their estimate and things like that. So this right here is the form, the main form that we want to do, deal with. And again, you can, this doesn't look very pretty. You can uh, 
make it look pretty if you want to, but it's just the basic placeholder for logo, fill out the form, change the color if that doesn't work for them, and then move on to the next one, which ultimately I'm not going to fill out the form here on this particular video, but it just takes them to a thank you page. Thank you page, just, just simply if we take a look here, has a nice little image. Excuse me, you can, you can have whatever image you want. Thank you for submitting your estimate, and you'll have to sit back and update this to include any other text that you might want to include. But it's basically there just again as a placeholder for hit the main page, either go to the website chat widget and answer your questions there. And then the website chat widget can direct you to the estimate page. Just go directly to the estimate page. Keep in mind that there's a button right there that can say click, go right to estimate page. And if you wanted to, you could actually even change this right here. If you didn't want this call to action right here, you can simply just uh, have change this to be submit, submit an estimate and remove the phone number from this. This is very easy to do. That way there is no call feature. So you, you're not really motivating people to want to call you because if they call you, then of course they're not going to be able to answer. And then you're going to be able to start a text conversation, but you can just simply say, click here for the uh, estimate and goes right to the estimate page. Now, here's how some of the automation pieces work. First of all, let's just take a step back and just think about what the Go High Level platform has already, has already done. We can offer them a website if they don't already have one, or at least an updated website to make it look more functional uh, and pretty and easy to use. We can offer them a website chat widget, which we saw to be able to interact with, ask questions, get information back, and actually send them to the service request uh, area. So that's time savings. Again, for a landscaping company, they just want leads to fill out the service request, sorry, the estimate request, and then they can get back to them. So that's what we're driving them. Send an estimate request, the estimate request will go to the company, can then follow up with those people that submitted the estimate request to see if they want to move forward. If they do, then they can add those companies to their backend software, add them to the route, and then get them up on billing and so forth and so on. But the big thing that the Go High Level platform does is that lead aggregation, that, that lead communication and the review management and things like that, that we've already discussed. So here we're going to move on to just some of the automation pieces and just going to show you how that works. So let's just say somebody comes through and goes to your website, or let's just say they call and let me show you where that is real quick before we do this. So here in the business profile, this is really it. And I'm going to, of course, I'm in the way here. Let me move myself out of the way. So right now, this is where you, the missed call text back I told you about, where the system will actually communicate and text them. This is where you can put a message. And here we have, hi, this is location name, which is the name of the company that you have. Thank you for contacting us to receive an estimate for our services. Please submit the form and allow us one business day to process your request. Here is a link. And if this takes a link, this is a custom link that I'm going to show you how you, once you install this snapshot package, you do have to update this on one particular page here. And I'm going to show you how that works. Once you update that link, then that link will be sent with all of these requests. So when people get a text message, like they imagine this, the, the customer tries to call you, it rings, rings, and it doesn't answer. So what's the next thing they're going to do? They're going to, if they're on this particular page, they're going to go to the next person on the list and start calling them. Oh, but before they can even call, boom, they get a text message on their phone saying, Hey, hi, this is ABC landscaping. Thank you for contacting us to receive an estimate. Please submit the form. Oh, and here's a link. So I can just I click on this particular link. It then takes you out to the estimate form, which is the, this form here. So it doesn't go to the main page. It takes them directly to this particular form. And this form right here, they can fill it out on their phone, click submit. And then once they do that, this is what we're going to talk about. Some of the automation pieces that happen after that, like what happens once they submit the form. So that's the, the user end experience of what they're getting. So right now, what we're going to uh, take a look back here as actually, let's just take, we're going to take a look at the automations here. There's a couple of them that I've got right here, but before we do this, I want to show you how easy it is to be able to sit back and have this request page. So here is the, the estimate request page that we looked at. So whatever this is, then when you install this, you're going to add this to your own domain. So it could be your ABC landscaping company.com. That's the domain that you're going to tie to this particular website here. I hope that makes sense. So this page will have a uh, URL that once you fix the, the website and you put that domain on there, that it's going to be solid. It's not going to change. So let's just say we copy this. Once we get it finalized and get it up and going, we copy this, we can come over here to the settings and there's this custom value area. Now this is very uh, good because this is where you can also change the business logo here. Notice it's a uh, logo text. You don't need to update the logo here. All you need to do is simply, let me go back here, come here. And all you're doing is clicking on this little button here and just say, edit custom value. And you're just changing that. So you're just going to give it a link to wherever the logo is. And you can do that. You can upload that to the media library, which I'll, I'll show you real quickly how you would do that. But here, estimate form URL right here. This is the one that we're looking for. This is what's going to be sent to people. You would just simply click on that and just simply paste in that URL and just simply click update. Now, once you do this, this does have to be done the very first time that you get the client account set up here. So once you get the domain set up, once you get the website up and go live with it, then you would just simply copy that URL like I just did, come in here and update the estimate URL, and then all the automations that we're gonna be looking at here from the miscall text back, things like that will start working automatically using that particular link that we saw. Now here, if you want to, you can come here if we look at media storage. So here in media storage, you notice we already have some of the images here. Here is the logo that we, that we looked at. Notice if you click on these three dots, you can just simply say, get the link. So all you have to do is just simply come here, click new, upload the file, 
to here. Once it's uploaded, click here, get the link, and then update that link where we were just at. So it's just that easy to update the logo uh, and for their customer. And then once you do that, the logo gets automatically added here to the page and all the whole entire site, and you don't have to do it any longer. That's the only thing that you have to do. So now that we've done that, let's go back here and again, look at the automation piece. So here we've got uh, a couple of different things. This claim offer, I'm going to just talk about this real quick here. Inside of the sites right here, there is uh, a funnel for landscaping offer here. So what this really is here is that if you have a landscaping company, you probably already have you know, many different clients, potentially hundreds of clients that you've serviced in the past, but they may not be using your services anymore. They might've stopped. Who knows? They might've moved and, and never had you come back to the new place. There's lots of different reasons why that happens. But let's just say you want to re-engage customers. You want to go back out and offer them something that's going to get them re-engaged. Maybe it's the fall time and you're doing a special on leaf removal or something like that, where you can come out and remove their leaves and, and get their yarn all cleaned up for a special one-time price then you can actually build this particular landscaping offer page out. I'm not going to spend time looking at it, but you can build that offer for leaf removal and things like that. And then this automation piece right here for claiming the offer can be used for when you send out an email to people, hey, you've got a, we've got a fall leaf special for those people who uh, are not using your customers to get your customers back into the business again and hopefully start using your service more and more. So this is actually called a database reactivation kind of campaign. So I'm not going to go over this uh, specifically. I'm just, this is included in your snapshot, but you can take a look at it and use that if you want to. Some companies don't, which is why I'm not going to spend a lot of time about that here. So right now, I really want to focus on three of these. We have an estimate approved, an estimate nurture, and then an estimate request submitted. So the request submitted is the one that we're going to look at here because whenever somebody submits the form and so forth, this is what it gets triggered off of. Once you submit the form, the first thing that's going to happen is that the team inside is going to get an email. And the email is going to be very basic here. It's just going to have all the information from the form so that they don't need to go into high level to have an estimate request. Most people, they just want to be able to open up their email, look at their email, says, oh, we got a new estimate request from this person. Here's the person's name, address, city, state, postal code, and service service type. These are those services, lawn removal, leaf removal, or things like that. All of the services will be listed here from, from here. So basically just sends the people an email letting them know that there's a new service request. And when they get that, they know that they will need to submit and return that back to the person, send an email back to that particular person with, an, with a service request regarding how much that's going to be. Now, if they need to call that particular person to get some additional information, they can. That person's name, if you want to, you can include their phone and email here. Let me show you how easy that is. So let's just say we want to include phone. We can do phone number. Now, here we can do custom value. This contact is the person that submitted the form. We can come down here and just make it a phone number. Email. We can simply click on this and go back to the contact. Choose their email. Now, this is going to include their phone and email. We're going to save the action to update it. Three. So here's the internal notification. Send an email out to the team. And then right after that, this SMS message, this is the message that's going to be sent to the person who just filled out the form. Why do we want to do this? Because we want to engage the person in real time to let them know that their request just didn't go into the land, that the request was actually received. So again, look at they're on the phone. They got it. They try to call. They got a message. They click the form. They fill out the form on, the, on their phone. They click submitted. And then what happens next? About a couple seconds after that, they're going to get this message. Hello. Let's just say to me, hello, Ray. This is ABC Landscaping Company. We have received your estimate request for our service. We will have an estimate emailed to you within one day or less. So now they get a text message almost a couple seconds later in real time saying, your request has been received. That makes people uh, psychologically feel better because now they know that it didn't go into the land somewhere that they actually, it was received and that they're going to get something within a day. And then we can also follow up with an email that basically just says the exact same thing. Yeah, here uh, again, this is the email to the client that filled it out. So they're going to get a text and they're going to get an email uh, from us, to let us letting them know that. Now, the next thing after that is we need to give us some time. We need to give a little bit of time for the company to send out the estimate. And then from the estimate, follow up with them regarding you know, that. I don't know what that particular procedure is for the company. You can work with them on there, but I'm assuming when they send an estimate request out the next day, they can go through and call them back up and you know, follow up with them to see if they want to move forward. But what this is going to do is when they submit that request, it's going to wait three days. And then after three days, what it's going to do is going to add them to an estimate nurture campaign. The nurture campaign, let's just say that this could be that maybe they're, they haven't made up their mind yet if they want to use your services or not, but now we're going to add them into an email campaign that's going to send them emails, that's going to get them on board, and hopefully, if they haven't made a decision, we'll hopefully let them know to, to use our services. Let's take a look at that. So here in the estimate nurture campaign, uh, again, these are some placeholders. You will have to update this specifically for your particular company. But right now, notice that it has no trigger because this has to be manually added, which we just did. Uh, in the previous one, it waits three days. And then after three days, it adds them to this campaign. So after that, it's, we can adjust this. It says wait seven days. We can just adjust this to say one, for instance. So after one day after this, then they're going to be getting an email. The email is going to have transform your outdoor space with our expert landscaping designs. And it's going to add this. And this is a template that you can go through and include inside of the snapshot as well. So here we've got the logo that you can put on here. It's going to have, it's going to send this email out to somebody and it's just at least keep the communication open with them. 
And what it does is just sends them a series of emails. It waits a day, sends out the first one, waits seven days, sends out the second one, seven days, the third one, and so forth. Now, this is all customizable. You can make this quicker if you want to. But one of the things about this is these are for people who have not decided to use your business or not, like they haven't committed and they haven't uh, gotten their estimate approved. Now, what happens though, is let's just say that they do submit their request. And then at that particular point, the request goes back to the company. They send the request over to the customer says, yes, that sounds fine with me. Let's get going. So at that particular point, what the, what we've got is we've got some tags and tags are a way to identify people. So as soon as somebody fills out that particular form here, I know I don't really have anything in here right now, but let's go ahead and just create something here. Just to kind of show you what this looks like. So we're going to create, we're going to just say John at gmail.com. So right now we're going to go through and create a sort of a contact. So here we've got a contact and this could be, for instance, this John submitted the, the form on the website. Now, when he does this, uh, one of the things that uh, is going to be done is notice that we have two tags, estimate received, um, which is going to be tagged, a uh, person's going to be tagged with this one. But if they do approve the, the estimate, then what's going to happen is that the company needs to come in and click estimate approved here inside of the, and when that happens, what's going to happen then is in the automations area, this estimate approved is now going to be going to kick off. And all it's going to do is just simply, once you add that, they're going to remove them from that nurture campaign because you don't want to keep sending them emails about your services if they're already buying it. This right here is just a couple of different uh, ways that you can uh, create sort of a system for the landscaping company and basically allow them to allow them to fill in again some of those missing pieces from the communication, the website chat widget and things like that. Now, one of the things I do want to sit back and show you in here is how easy this right here, this conversational AI piece, this is the AI piece that I talked about here. So what I want to show you here is just how easy this would be to sit back and program. So a lot of people are afraid of AI and the AI is one of the main pieces here. I would not sell any of the missed call text back, the website chat widget or anything without actually having the AI piece included because if you don't do that, then it's going to be up to the owner of the business or somebody to respond to those requests manually. And who knows, again, how long that's going to take because the landscaping companies are out in the field, they're working. They may not be able to reply to the end of the uh, business day, in which case if somebody's on the website and they, they're trying to, to send a message to you through the website and you don't answer, they're moving on to the next person. You see what I mean? So here you can simply uh, choose the autopilot method here, come up to your training and just simply enter in the website that we talked about here. Now I'm going to show you this right here is one of the ones that we already have. So once you get the website up and going, you can just simply click copy, come over here, paste this in here and just say, get data. Notice right here, we've got updated links. We see zero links right here, which means that the bot has not been programmed. So right now this, what this is doing is going out to the website, looking at this. And now it's actually got, if you take a look here, how long did that take a few seconds. So now it's read the entire website and learned all the information about your businesses, what type of services you have to offer. And it's also read all these frequently asked questions. And now you can actually sit back and communicate with this, with this bot in real time and ask them questions. Right now, this is pretty cool. And a lot of people want to be able to see how this works. Right now, I do have this up publicly. Let me see if I've got this turned on here. Give me a second. So this right here is our snapshot. And I don't like to use, I don't like to program the AI bots. I'm going to remove all that. I don't like to turn that on for, for this. So I'm going to turn it on here. We can at least see what this is like. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you, this is the same, by the way, this is the same, this AI feature that we're going to look at here. Notice, uh, hello, I am your virtual AI assistant. I can help you get uh, answers to your questions or book an appointment to get an estimate. How can I help you? So right now, and you notice that uh, if we take a look here, you've got this little uh, AI bot program. So right now, the whole point of this is you don't want to, you don't want to make sure that people think that there's a, a person behind this. You want to make sure that they understand that this is going to be an AI person to be, because you're going to get responses pretty quick from this one here. So this is what it looks like. And whenever you communicate with, this is the same type of communication that you would get, whether you tried to call the company and you're using the missed call text back feature. This thing can even be included to include a Facebook business page or Instagram. If these people are on social media, you could do that as well to, to incorporate those, those mechanisms. So if somebody goes to your Facebook business page and submits a message to you, this AI bot can respond to that as well. That's additional services that you can offer. But let's just take a look and just see how this works. Somebody goes to your website. Do you offer a leaf removal service? So here, the website's going to come up. You're going to sit back and respond with the AI bot. A few seconds later, you're going to be able to get a response back. And this is how you can, again, this is all unresponsive. The AI system is doing all of this based upon what we just programmed here. Let me blow this up a little bit. Yes, we offer leaf removal as part of our cleanup services to keep your space in top condition year round. Great. How do I book an appointment or something of that nature? So right now, the AI system is smart enough to sit back and understand, okay, so this person has all their questions answered. Now we, be able to, uh, we, we need to be able to sit back and book an appointment. Now what this does here, and I, I'm not going to go into the full AI thing here, but it's a sure thing to get started. I'll need to get your full name. So right now we can actually program uh, this particular AI bot to ask for their full name, their email address, and their phone number, because you're going to need all that information before you actually book an appointment and book an estimate. So 
this right here is going to go into asking for their full name and so forth. But you see, once you program this thing, then this thing is ready to go. You don't need to be there, meaning the landscaping companies do not need to be by the phones. They don't need to do anything. Their lead marketing process is just done for them automatically. And this exact same thing can be done for the Google review system and so forth. So I'm going to turn this back off here, but I just want to show you what that looks like. And now we can pop back into our, our snapshot area over here, but that's what the bot looks like here. And notice if we take a look here, these are all the particular channels here. Let me blow this up here. Give me a second. I need to move myself back over. So here's all the channels. SMS is really the missed call text back feature, Instagram, Facebook, and there's both the, the regular chat widget and the live chat widget that you can book. Now, if you're interested in the AI part, again, I try to segment my videos so I don't have one huge video that's going to absolutely blow your mind with all of this training. There's several AI videos, if you're interested in those, to watch on my channel that shows you how to program this, how to do everything a little bit more in depth, how to train it, if, if it doesn't respond right, how to fix it. So all of that stuff is available. What I want to show you on this one is just how you can actually set this up and what, we're, what I'm giving you here in this package regarding uh, landscaping companies. Now, here's where this document comes in handy, okay? Because this document, being a Google document, you can also share this out as well. And you can actually get a link link to this document. And this is you. You can actually do this. You can have one document for all of your landscaping companies and then use this as well inside of the bot training to program right here. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go through it. And if we wanted to, I'm to just simply delete this. In a sense, what that does is wipe out the AI's, AI's training. And now it's ignorant again. It doesn't know anything because you haven't trained it. You have to sit back and program it again. So anyway, you could, you could put that link right here in for the Google Doc and populate it that way as well and train it as well. So... <clears throat> these are all the different things that you can uh, do with regards to landscaping companies. Now I do want to hop in here real quick and just say, how do you put all these things together? How do you package all these? So here's just a couple of things that, that you know, right off the bat that, that you can start doing. Package one, you know, price it 197, 297 to, uh, to 247, somewhere in that ballpark, but you're going to include the AI engine that's already programmed with the FAQs that are already on the site, as well as the landscaping FAQs that I'm already giving you. And you can always add more if you want to. This would be a good thing to go over with your client. They could read all these FAQs and say, hey, are there any other ones that are specific to your business that we can add to help the AI bot learn a little bit more about your services? So here we've got this. We've got the website chat widget that you can offer them. We can offer them the Facebook and Instagram uh, integration. Again, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is go in and put in their Facebook account and their Facebook and Instagram are tied together because uh, Facebook owns both of them. But you can now start, if they do have social media, you can incorporate their social media. So now they don't have to respond to all of those Facebook messenger requests anymore. And just think of all the time savings. They don't have to answer the phone calls. They don't have to respond to people from their website. They're getting leads from their site. Their uh, Facebook business page is getting leads. Their Instagram is getting leads. They, uh, yeah. they're, they're getting reviews out automatically. All these things can be done for them. Okay. Now, if they, if, again, if they don't have a website, you can give them this free website template that we, um, that we, that I showed you. All of that can be done for one particular package. Okay. So that's one thing that you can actually use. Once you have them, they start paying you $247 a month. Once all this stuff is set up and going, you don't need to sit back and monitor this on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. This system just continues to run. The only thing that you need to do it updated is if they have any uh, other FAQs or anything like that, you might add an FAQ to their site and then have the, go back and have the AI bot relearn the website again. It takes a few seconds and now it's incorporated those new uh, questions and answers into its sort of memory. So here in package two, we see 397. This is where you get everything in the first package. And then you can include missed call text back. Again, this is very important, okay? Because now they don't have to answer the phone. So for $397 a month, a month, which is really one customer. Literally, let's just be, be real. If you can get them one customer per month, which is easily done with all the stuff that you're offering them, but from being able to give them a website, to be able to respond to people on their website, use the AI widget, respond to all of their phone calls, all of that stuff, you can easily get them one customer, if not many more from this without them ever having to talk to people for $397 a month. Now, another time savings is the review system. If we step back and take a look here, we saw that some of these companies did not have very good reviews, 25 reviews, 90 reviews, 37. These should be, if you're in business for, look at this, this company has been in business 65 years, 37 reviews. That is nuts. You should have a thousand or more reviews if you've been in business for that, for that long, because the people don't have a system built for being able to, to ask for Google reviews and even respond to Google reviews. Again, I know I didn't cover the reputation management here because I've created a whole other video on how to sell reputation management. And if you just want to sell that by itself, watch that video on my channel as well. I think it's on a card here on this particular video, but all of these things are going to be included. You can download that package as well. Install that into the account and you get all the things regarding the Google reviews as well for free. So right now, why did I do all this? Why did I build all this stuff together here is I'm an affiliate of the Go High Level platform. My job is to help educate you on how you can target specific niches and businesses and allow them to make more money by making them more efficient using the services inside of the Go High Level platform. So I get compensated from high level, uh, from the Go High Level platform. If you haven't signed up, use my link below. You get 30 days free. And that's a lot longer than if you go to the site directly. To get signed up here, you get 30 free days 
to go through and get this and complete thing set up. You get a ton of bonuses for me. You get coaching for me. I mean, I'm giving you a lot of different things. You can get, you can hit the ground running and just in a few days have a business that's functional up and going and start um, calling, contacting people and getting even just one person. Keep in mind, you can just get one person, one client paying you and you're completely paying for the software cost for the Go High Level platform. Okay. And then eventually when you get a couple of customers, you can upgrade and then you'll have unlimited amount of customers, but click on the link below, follow it. And it shows you all the bonuses and everything else that I provide that I give you and things that you can um, do inside the go high level platform. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you did find this useful, click on the comment button, uh, leave me a message. Uh, if there's anything else that I missed on this, that you would like to uh, hear, uh, leave me a comment and I will, I'll definitely look at updating this, but guys, thank you so much for taking time to, to watch the video and have a great day. Bye-bye guys.